Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt. How are you all doing? So, some of you may remember back in, I think it was September last year, I went out and did a video uh, playing Pokemon Go. I was out hunting some Charmanders and during that little excursion, this happened. Carry on hunting for a little bit longer and then... <laughs> So I've been putting it off and off and off and off and off, but it's about time that I go get the camera fixed. So for those of you that don't know what happened exactly, the hot shoe got sheared off the top. Um, I, I can't screw it back on. The bits that it connects to inside are just messed up. The flash no longer works on top, um, and the camera seems to think that there is always um, like a, an external flash attached. I am off today to Stoke-on-Trent to H. Lermond. Uh, it's just over an hour drive. Um, they're the closest sort of official Canon uh, repair center to myself. So gonna go down and see if there's anything they can do. It is, however, gonna be an opportunity to play with one of my new Christmas presents, the GoPro Hero 7 Black. That's what I'm recording this on now. Apologies, I know it doesn't have the best audio quality, but uh, yeah, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to sort of test the GoPro out and see how it is for vlogging and the such. I need to give that a clean. <coughs> this is my first GoPro. Uh, the Hero 7 has a ton of features that I've just not even really started to play around with yet. One of the main ones being the main selling point of this is the Hyper Smooth. So, um, like I said, got an hour journey ahead of me, so I'm gonna stick it on time lapse with the Hyper Smooth and see what the results that we get. Made it so kind of went off yeah I took a wrong turn towards the end but bam yeah we've uh, we've made it so it's just around the corner because there's no parking so let's go in and see if these guys can help me oh yeah I guess also on a side note I don't know what that uh, time lapse is gonna look like it's like foggy it was raining so the wipers are on you've seen it you know if it was good or not but I will uh, talk about it at the end after Right, so dropped the camera off. The technician has had a quick look over it. Apparently, the damage is not all that bad. Um, like the mirror in the center and everything's fine. So it should just be a simple matter of sorting out the flash and sorting out the hot shoe. And he says it shouldn't cost too much money, really. Maybe just a bit over their standard service charge, which is around £140. So that's all positive because I was thinking... I was thinking that we were going to be bordering on like it might be cheaper to buy a new camera. So that's promising. They estimate it's going to take about seven days to do. So yeah, it looks like for seven days, any and all videos are going to be on this GoPro or on my phone. So that's going to be a, an interesting experience to uh, to see what I can do with these. 
While the technician was looking it over, I went to a little cafe next door and I had a look at the footage from the GoPro on the drive here. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. So I set the time warp for 30 times speed. So an hour and something trip has been condensed down to like two minutes, which is just absolutely incredible. Um, the quality of it is decent enough. I think it looked better, obviously, if it was a nice, clear, sunny day, but you work with what you've got. So I'm going to head back to Manchester now and probably not do another time warp because, like a fool, I only brought one GoPro battery with me and it's, yeah, it's almost, almost on its way out. So I've made it back home okay. I've had a chance now to edit the footage together and have a look at the time warp um, time lapse to Stoke. I'm really impressed with how smooth the footage is and yeah, just overall the quality. So like I say, my main camera is going to be out of action for around about a week. So perfect opportunity to put this little guy through its paces and see what we can do.